And it's my favorite time on a Monday where we reveal our surprise celebrity guest that is here to answer a burning question. So, your clues, in case you are just joining us right now, we're former Miss USA, Real Housewife, mm? and Twirl. Mm? All right, so uh, Marisol and Hazel did not get it. OG, I, I think, did. You so think? <laughs> I told you don't come for me unless I send for you, I know. Okay, so she's a fan <laughs> favorite of the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Plus, you ready for this long list? Mm -hmm. She's an actress, a producer, an entrepreneur, and she's now a contestant Peace. on Dancing with the Stars. Please welcome to the Pixar Morning News, <laughs> Kenya Moore. <laughs> What's up, Kenya? How are you? I'm tired. <laughs> you're tired. Oh, I'm glad same. we woke you up. I, I know it's not like you, it's not like you're doing much these days with Dancing with the Stars or anything, you know. She's keeping it yeah, real, right? though. That's exactly. Accurate. Yeah. Yesterday was a blocking um, for camera. We have two dances this week. It's Disney week. Oh wow. So we're just like really tired, but so excited to bring these dances yeah. to you and for you guys to be impressed with what we can put on the floor. We're excited to hear all about it, but I do want to get you. To, to talk about because you recently posted a throwback picture uh, from one of your first pageants, right? And I want to ask the question which we were asking, which is how do you know, there you are, Aww. how do you know if your child is cut out for the competition? Like what gave you that kind of burning edge to enter into a pageant to begin with? You know, when I did it, I did it for fun. And, and here's Brookie. She oh, wants Brooke, to get oh, in on the air. Oh, hi, Brooklyn. She is. Oh, when I was very young, oh, my God. <laughs> I, I just knew I wanted to do it because it was just for fun. You know, it was for camaraderie and to, to basically keep me off the streets of Detroit. You know, where, where I grew up, it was a little violent. And, um, you know, my grandmother who raised me wanted me to be safe. Yeah. So we just found things for me to do that would be fun, but also, you know, create this woman that I that she wanted me to be. Well-rounded, um, exposed to the arts, uh, you know, having poise and being able to speak in front of an audience. So pageants taught me all of those things. Mm. Oh, Who's got questions? Look at that butterfly clip. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. <laughs> She's adorable. I know. She's is adorable. it some? Is that something you would encourage your own daughter to do? Yeah. I I would because I had fun. I had fun doing it, and it's just taught me so much. And I made lifelong friends. So I think pageants are good. You know, as long as it's not about beauty, as long as it's mm -hmm. about building self esteem and character. So I, I'm all for that. Um, do you think that helped you? I guess prepare being on that kind of platform and stage for Dancing with the Stars. Yeah. I think so because you know this is this it passes our live audience and Dancing with the Stars is a live audience so you kind of get used to being on your feet and thinking on your feet um, obviously performing um, in front of you know a lot of people that is a lot of pressure to do so yeah, yeah I huh? think to some degree yeah it, it does wow. definitely help wow. it definitely that, prepared me <laughs> I think one of the biggest fears that parents have introducing their children into any kind of competition is the fear of failure and how they handle that. So how do you, yeah. as a parent, how do you prepare your child for that, yeah. for the disappointment yeah. of early on in life? So um, you know, listen, failure is a part of growing up. Mm -hmm. Failure um, is something that you can't avoid in your life. Mm -hmm. I think I just teach my child to be positive. And even if you have failures, if you don't reach your goals, sure. You know, it, you just have to keep going. You have to keep um, having faith. You have to be focused. Mm -hmm. And what's meant for you will be for you. That's I think right. that's, that's mm -hmm. what I teach her. OG, Marisol. Oh, oh. it's not just your child you're teaching, Kenya. Just, so you, just so you know, like, we followed you. Well, I've been a fan since you did <laughs> Miss USA and then Miss Universe and then the music oh. videos and all the TV biggest sitcoms that you appeared on you've been acting forever and still staying relevant and still carrying yourself in the best way ever so just i'm just saying this to you. tell you that you are gone with the wind fabulous and <laughs> yes, i quote funny. i'm telling you i quote you all the time when someone bothers me i always go like in the words of kenya moore don't come for me unless i send for you right. <laughs> yes i love it i love it <laughs> all the time so just so you know i wasn't bothering you so please don't bother me you know exactly <laughs> <laughs> We are just happy to see you doing what oh you do. And goodness. I watch you every week on Dancing with the Stars, mm -hmm. and we're so happy, and you are so impressive, and I'm keep so killing it. I'm so excited to be there. Just, I just want to remind the audience to vote for yeah. us. Yes. Text Kenya to 21253. We need those votes. You have to vote in East Coast time. So thank you for 
for supporting us. You know, we really want to be on this journey and stay on this journey. So um, we, we just appreciate the vote. Well, you got the moves. Uh, I mean, let me tell you. Oh. Okay, you got the moves. Uh, Marisol? Well, I was just going to ask, first of all, congratulations on everything you're doing. I have two boys who dabble in all sorts of competition from sports to on stage. How do I encourage them so that, you know, when you're 12 and 15, everything, like, the sky's the limit. But I'm starting to see the light dwindle in my younger one. He's oh. like, eh, I could take it or leave it. But I know yeah. that he's, I, I see when he get when he's on stage, he becomes this different person. But so how do I encourage that without feeling overbearing? That's a tough question. You know, I just believe, like, I want Brooklyn to be this, this person who can play the piano and play tennis and golf and ballet and karate, you know, <laughs> like, I want her to do all of those things. As a mom, you want them to live their best life, right? Mm -hmm. You want to encourage them to just, you know, be a, a, a person who can do many things. The truth is they have to follow their own passion. Yeah. So even, and, and that comes from what you're doing as a mom is exposure. Hey, does she like piano? Maybe not, but does she love, you know, the guitar? Yeah. So, you know, you have to just continue to expose them to many things, but you have to let them kind of follow their, their own passion. Um, I have two questions for you. That's just my advice. I uh, know, I love it. Mighty Soul, that good? Oh, yeah. I have two questions for you. We're almost out of time. <laughs> First, I got to just talk about Real Housewives of Atlanta. Two long term cast members, Portia Williams, Cynthia Bailey, saying, no, we're not coming back. Um, so, thoughts on them leaving? Do you care? Do you, do you have replacements? Well, no, we, we care because, you know, they, they've been my sisters for so yeah. long. You know, even sisters fight or they fall out um, and they may not get along all the time. But, you know, for 10 years, uh, they were my sisters. Uh, 19 years, so I wish them well. I know that they're following their happiness, Good. and I think that that's all you can do in life is follow your happiness. And at 50 years old for me now, that's why I'm on Dancing with the Stars because it was a lifelong dream. You know, 16 years I've wanted to do this show, Great. and I knew that there would be some possible overlap from my show to Dancing with the Stars, and I just feel like, you know what, I'm gonna follow my passion on yeah. this. I'm gonna do what makes me feel good. And that choice was to do to 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 be and do what I'm doing right now and be where I am. I love so, it. So good good luck to them. I love them. Um, you know, despite it all, you know, you fall out with your sisters, but I wish them so much happiness. And and the most important question here is is that orchid behind you? Is it real? And if it is, <laughs> yes. if it is, how the heck do you keep it alive? He has killed every orchid. I have he's killed ever had. every orchid See, I've I don't ever know had. Where it is, but you, you put it in um, near light, and you only put it I, an ice cube in it once a week an for water. Mm. Oh, my You do gosh. an ice cube. You didn't know that, huh. Nana. I yeah. Kill it. I, mean, I, I have no green thumb. Kenya Moore, we love you. Thanks for coming back. <laughs> Brooklyn, we love you. Hey, Brooklyn. Good luck. Brooklyn, sorry, sorry, sorry. Stars. You wanted part of the action. Good. Hi, Brooklyn. All right. Hey, Kenya, good luck, okay, on Dance oh. with the Stars. Vote, vote, Thank vote. you so much. Uh, vote. Yes, yes, we got it. We got it. Mm -hmm. All right, hey, if there's something you're curious about, everybody, want us to help you find the answer, email me your questions. I want to know at pixlevin.com. We could find a surprise guest to answer your burning question. That was good. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. She's fantastic. Very good. She really is. She's 50. Classy. Mm -hmm. Seriously.